Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into Drake's latest legal move, and it's a big one. Drizzy isn't just coming for Kendrick Lamar's diss track, Not Like Us. He's now targeting iHeartRadio and Universal Music Group, UMG, with serious allegations. Let's break it all down. So here's the scoop. Drake just filed his second pre-action petition, this time in Texas. Why? He's claiming that iHeartRadio accepted payola from UMG to push Not Like Us onto the airwaves. If that sounds shady, it's because it is. Payola is basically paying for airplay, and it's illegal under U.S. law. But that's not all. Drake alleges that UMG knew Kendrick's track falsely accused him of being a sex offender and released it anyway. Those are some heavy claims, and Drizzy says he's got enough evidence to sue for defamation. If true, this could get very messy for UMG. Now, this story gets even crazier. Drake's first filing, submitted in New York, claims UMG used every trick in the book to make Not Like Us a hit. We're talking bots to inflate streams, payola deals with Spotify and Apple, and even rigging Siri to redirect fans searching for Drake's songs to Kendrick's track instead. Can you imagine asking Siri to play God's plan and getting a diss track instead? Wild. If that actually happened, I'd throw my phone across the room. But seriously, if Drake's allegations are true, this isn't just bad for him. It's bad for the entire music industry. UMG isn't taking this line down, though. They released a statement saying, and I quote, the suggestion that UMG would do anything to undermine any of its artists is offensive and untrue. They're brushing off Drake's claims as contrived and absurd. And then there's this. UMG told Drake to sue Kendrick Lamar directly instead of dragging them into it. Talk about passing the buck. Meanwhile, the label insists that fans, not bots or payola, are the ones driving Kendrick's success. So who's telling the truth? That's for the courts to decide. All right, so what happens next? Drake wants the court to order UMG and Spotify to cough up documents that could prove his case. If this goes to trial, it could expose some pretty shady practices behind the scenes in the music biz. Now, I want to hear from you. Do you think Drake has a point? Or is this just a bitter rivalry gone too far? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for all the latest music industry tea. Until next time, stay tuned and keep it real.